Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you, and I'm coming to you from beautiful Buffalo, New York. And you're probably wondering, what the heck am I doing over here in Buffalo? Well, there is a very good reason why I came here. And the reason I'm here is because I came to find something that has not been seen in Canada in 10 long years. And so, the reason I wanted to come to the States is because Unfortunately, I have to come here. It's a two-hour drive for me to come to Buffalo to find what I was looking for, but believe me, it was worth the wait, and if there are any Canadians who are watching this, I hope that you'll be seeing this video, and hopefully you can encourage the return of these things, because I miss these things badly, and I know you do too. So, what exactly do I have? Well, I'll show you. One moment. I got my hands on some Girl Scout cookies! Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's right, I got my hands on Girl Scout cookies, people. Oh, I have not seen these things in Canada in 10 years. I miss the time when girls out there would go and knock on our doors and ask us if we want to buy some cookies off them. I mean, believe me. It was worth it to help out some wonderful young girls who definitely deserve the opportunity to be able to make a difference in other people's lives, and their own. And so, I missed this opportunity, and so I just became tired of waiting, and for me, I wanted so badly to be able to still be able to buy some Girl Scout cookies, so that's exactly what I did, and so, came across the border, Went down to um, Elmwood Avenue and found the Girl Scout cookie stand. And there was just these wonderful girls, probably all single digits in age, and they were just really, really wonderful girls. And I'm just so happy to have made a difference in their lives. And they were very enthusiastic, very smiley, so it was worth it for me to come back here after 10 years. So let me show you what all I got purchased today. Of course, had to buy a box of Thin Mints. These, of course, are the um, popular Girl Scout cookie in America, the top seller, and they used to sell these things in Canada for a few years, but unfortunately, they stopped selling them. And that's a shame because anyone who knows me knows that I am a mint junkie and I love anything with mint. So, love to get the, my hands on some of these Thin Mints, and I've got to get my hands on these real soon. So what else do I have? Well, got my hands on some peanut butter patties, which is really cool. Um, but it's a bit unfortunate though that there are so many kids these days that have an allergy to peanuts and so probably can't sell as much of these anymore, but hey, the fact that they're doing, still doing so, that is really amazing and I just have to appreciate that. Also, we have some what they call the thanks a lot cookie and this one is a shortbread cookie with a fudge bottom and so that's really cool. Also really cool is the fact that they have thank yous amped on the top of the cookie. That is really cool. And hey, the Eiffel Tower in the background? Even better! <laughs> oh, what else is in here? Oh, how about some Beautiful lemonades. Yeah, that's really cool as well. Uh, shortbread cookie as well with a lemon bottom. And I like the picture on this one. It's the one that has the... It looks like they're writing a menu for... It looks like a soup kitchen. And that's really great that it gets to, you get to see these young kids giving so much of their time to help out some people, especially the less fortunate. That's really amazing. And last but not least, we have the newest addition to the Girl Scout cookie family, the Mango Cream with Nutrifusion. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it sounds interesting. And hey, it's definitely got the girls in this picture mesmerized. I mean, look how big their eyes are lit up. It was definitely worth it to get the, uh, my hands on one of these boxes of cookies. <laughs> And so, I've got to get my hands right now on one of these Thin Mints. Oh, I've got to buy, get my hands on one of these Thin Mints. Got to get my hands on a Thin Mint. 
like I'm having so much time, hard time holding these things. But hey, ten years, as I said, and no cookies. That w this was worth it for me. So, for those of you who are out there in Canada, the Girl Scouts, please bring the Girl Scout cookies back if you're still out there. I know that in Canada, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts have essentially merged, but please bring back the Girl Scout cookies. We miss those. So hopefully our prayers will be answered and the Girl Scout cookies will, will return to Canada. But until then, I have no problem coming across the border to Buffalo to brighten the lives of some well-loving and deserving American children. So cheers to the Girl Scouts of America for keeping this time-honored tradition alive and that they may keep it strong and true for many more years to come and that the Canadian Girl Scouts may one day bring it back. <laughs> mm. Waiting ten years never tasted so good. Oh, wow. That is amazing. So, like I said, Canada, please bring the Girl Scout cookies back. So, I'll be back hopefully in the future with some more new videos. But until next time, I've got some cookies to devour. So until then, take care, and I'll see you soon.